Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. The Christmas Ornament Challenge is underway and I am going to make this ornament to put in the challenge. It is an acorn. Uh, the base is finished with the uh, soft jaws that I've been using recently. The top cap is textured around the edge and then hand carved and best of all I use a bayonet style bushing to hold the cap to the bottom so that I can sim with a simple twist take it apart. Chocolate candies inside. I don't discriminate between plain and peanut. I would, I would even put a Reese's Pieces in there if I could find some. In any case I like those bushings so much I put them on my Etsy site and uh, so let's turn this acorn for the challenge. As I finish roughing this block of maple, the remaining task is to cut the dovetail tenon needed for the next step. My favorite tool for this is my skew, which cuts the perfect angle almost automatically. Now with the wood reversed securely into the chuck and with a quick trim of the end, I can proceed to hollow the acorn shell. For this, I need to drill a depth hole. This not only marks the target depth, but also enables my box scraper to cut efficiently. Then for hollowing, I am trying out a tool stabilizing rig from Ron Brown's Best with the box scraper. The stabilizer prevents the tool handle from lifting. This makes the cut pass go smoothly without grabs. Nice shavings too. Next to fit the bayonet style bushing. Since I have a metal lathe, I switch the chuck over. A metal lathe cuts straight lines very accurately. In addition, the lathe has a digital readout for precise positioning. I am still learning how to best use the metal lathe. Since I have adapted tooling to enable me to move the chuck from wood to metal lathe without remounting the wood, I can go back and forth at will. However, I would never try to cut a nice curve on a metal lathe. Back on the wood lathe, I can work on the exterior. First, measure the depth and mark that, plus a little on the outside. Pencil marks get cut out very quickly. I find it best for me to make a parting cut at that mark. Then, as I cut down to the depth of the parting cut, make the parting cut even deeper. Then, finish off a nice curve with the spindle gouge. Then sand and apply shellac before parting it off from the tenon. Another perfect opportunity to use my wood soft jaws to finish the tip of the acorn shell. Then sand and finish this area and blend it into the older finish. This time I have a block of walnut that needs a mounting dovetail tenon. Then remount the walnut securely in the chuck. 
I need this to hollow this so that the shell portion fits loosely into the walnut cap. I move the wood, still in the chuck, back over to the metal lathe to fit the other side of the bayonet bushing. This is tough going because the joint is recessed deep into the wood. I messed up on this joint and had to make an additional corrective cuts. Again, the digital readout saved the day. Back on the wood lathe to shape the cap. Again, a parting cut marks the target bottom while I use a spindle gouge to shape the wood. I take a pass with a texturing tool. However, the walnut is so hard and dark, it does not pop. Regardless, I mark the extent of the texture with a scraping pass, then finish shaping the cap to taste. Just in case, I sand and apply shellac to this end of the cap. I'm experimenting with a DIY carving stand. It is made of a 3D printed threaded hub for the chuck, some nuts and bolts, and a steel shank for the chuck hub. With it mounted in place of the tool rest, I can position the wood in almost any orientation for access while carving. With my right angle carving tool, I rough cut away the old tenon. Now switch over to a rotary carving tool with a different shaped bit. This will not remove as much wood, but is more controllable for shaping. With some masking tape followed by duct tape, I mask off the finished area. Finally, this is an abrasive thread disc in my drill to smooth off remaining rough corners. Now more shellac. This does not blend so well because of the different textures between smooth and rough wood, but it will do. I like my acorn. It can be a hanging ornament or a shelf ornament. It can securely hold a goodie inside, yet it can be easily opened with a slight twist and pull. I'll put it in the ornament challenge since it is open now. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends about my videos. I appreciate your comments and questions. Every week I add a new wood turning video to my website. Always, please wear your full face shield anytime the lathe is running. A face shield saved my life. I regard it as an essential safety measure.